Let's go. Okay, gentlemen, I give you instructions downstairs. Let's get instructions allá abajo. Cuidado con los golpes. You're legal aquí. Legal right here. Both of you guys have tried trunks. Okay, so right here is a good blow. Aquí está bien todo. Obey my commands at all times. Háganme caso lo que les diga. Buena suerte. Y vayan a la esquina a esperar la campana. Wait for the go to the bell. Wait for the corner. Inquiring minds want to know: Is this a real match or another mismatch? Well, I think it's going to be much more competitive than the last fight. A week ago, we it. saw Arturo Gatti winning again at 140 pounds. Gibelos once traveled with Gatti when both were amateurs fighting in their early amateur days for Canada. Ready? Let's go. Ready? Box. Relatively tall welterweights. Both want to set up behind the jab. As Cavello said yesterday, Antonio's best as a counterpuncher. I'd like to try to make him lead. But at the end of the day, I have to create action one way or the other. There's Margarita over the top with a flinging right hand and now a good solid body shot with the left hand. And that's the counter punch move that he was speaking of. Hard right hand lands for Margarito. Gavillos grabs him and wrestles him into the ropes. Cavella seems to be unsteady and unsure of himself at this stage right here. Looking at his facial expression. Seems to be very uncomfortable. Well, Howard Grant told us yesterday that Cavellas can be a slow starter, that he needed to be a fast starter in this fight. Well, it's Margarito who's getting the fast start, and he just placed Cavellas with another quick right hand. And Margarito's placing all of his shots properly. If he keeps going at this pace here of this fight, he's not going to be going much longer than the last fight. Cavellas is going to have to start throwing some punches back to get some respect, even if it's just a jab. Yeah, Cavellas just hasn't been assertive enough in this round to give Margarito the resistance that might slow him down. This is the kind of fight in which Margarito gets going and just keeps letting his hands go free. An uppercut seems yeah. to stagger Cavellos momentarily. Well, you let a guy keep throwing all the punches sooner or later, just playing the numbers games. He's got to start contacting. Especially with a puncher like Margarito, the first contact he makes the end the fight. Hard right hand again by Margarito. Cabello is having trouble handling Margarito's power. I was wrong. This is going to go this could be the same fight. as the last fight. The long arm Margarito just keeps throwing and throwing. Same thing he did to Six Heads Lewis in the second round. Yeah. He's placing his punches very good tonight. Cabello gets in a body shot, but it does little to slow down Margarito. No, this this has been a brutal well. first round. Hard body shot by Margarito. Cabellos tries again to throw back. Manages to land a right hand. Gets in a left hook too. Margarito kind of smiles at it. Cabellos got away with a low blow. That'll help too. Stop. Break. Top the bell. Pare la campana. Let's go. And just as Pete Fresina made it out of round one against Rafael Marquez, but considerably the worse for wear. So, too, Hercules Cabellos walks wildly back to his corner at the end of the first. And it's going to be a major task to see if he can make it through round two. You don't need to be struck no way with this guy. You keep jumping your hands. You're going to keep popping with pop shots. Just like you did there. You've got to keep your hands up, relaxed, and move. This is not an get issue up, of up. quickness. This is just an issue of strength and will to come forward. And you can see right here that for the most part, Cavellas doesn't seem to have his mind into the fight. And Margarita's mixing up his punches. He's throwing overhand punches. He's coming up between the center with punches. He's going to the body. 
It's just a matter of time. He's got to start contacting when he's throwing punches from different angles like that. Antonio Margarito comes to hurt you. By CompuBox estimate, in the first round, he threw 86 power shots, landing 32 of them. And as you can see, from all angles, every kind of punch, hooks, uppercuts, overhand rights and lefts, there's a good right hand inside by Cavillos. I think the biggest factor in the first round was the fact that Cavillos' eyes showed me that he really didn't feel confident. I don't think he can handle Margarito's power, and there's the first knockdown of the fight. He's really hurt. It's over. It's over. He should stop the fight. He shouldn't give him a chance, I don't think, to keep no, going. He's going to fall on his own without getting hit. It's a good moment to stop it as he falls into the ropes by himself. And his trainer, Howard Grant, gets up on the apron with a white towel, which was exactly the right thing to do. It was that the referee was a little slow in stopping that one. Referee was about to miss it. Howard Grant didn't let it go by. Well, he, he protected his fight. Did a good job. I don't remember when we've ever had two match mismatches like this before. Never unboxing after dark, for sure. Well, we had a great undercard, but that wasn't televised. All the big fighters. Bob Arum, who has seen so many headlines recently that are difficult for him, Slightly happier tonight as his two fighters, Marquez and Margarito, score huge victory. Here's another look, Emmanuel, at the series of punches that really put Cabellos away. It wasn't so much really just a punch. It was just like he just it went into submission on his own. It was just a matter of time before he got hit with anything. When you're afraid, every punch hurts. Who's next, Bob? Who's next, Bob? Some of those are just glancing blows, but you, your point is quite well taken. He was already out of the fight. Mentally. This is the moment at which Caiz could have stepped in to stop it, allowed Margarita to bang away just a little more, and even though you don't see it here, it was exactly at this moment that Howard Grant was in the corner, up on the apron in Cavellos' corner, and waving a white towel, as if to say to the referee, all right, look, if you can't see it, I can and Margarita was doing the same thing. He would throw a punch to the outside and then throw a left uppercut right between the gloves after he would let him cover up. And it worked very effectively, continually. Well, Margarito has some of the relentlessness and the go-for-broke knockout instinct of Ricardo Mayorga. But he's a little more structured perhaps a better boxer than Mayorga. Is that is that fair, Emmanuel? He's much, much technically sound, but I think that Mayorga punches and fights with a little bit more intensity and more highly spirited, but he's a better solid fundamental fighter than Mayorga right there. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Raul Caiz Sr. steps in and calls a halt to this bout in round number two. The official time is 54 seconds. The winner, and still WBO welterweight champion of the world, Antonio Margarito. So, three quick knockouts on the card. Both Rafael Marquez and Antonio Margarito scoring second round knockouts and Harold Letterman with a one-minute knockout in the <laughs> Ask Harold feature. Total punch stat numbers, and you can see that Cavellos was barely in the ring, numerically, against Margarito, who would have thrown another 100 power punches in the second round if they just let him keep going. Power shots, that's the name of the game for Margarito. He threw 99 of them in a little bit over one round of action. Uh, and Cavellos did what he could to try to get back at him, but to very little effect. And let's go to Larry Merchant in the ring with the winner and with interpreter, Ray Torres. Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Antonio. Gracias, Larry. Did you watch the first fight tonight? Bueno, sí. 
No, no la miré, estaban los vestidores, no lo alcancé a mirar. No, I didn't see the fight. But you knew because you came so fast that it was a short fight, yes? Pero tú sabías porque comenzaste rápido que eso fue una pelea rápida. Claro que sí, primero quiero agradecer a Dios por haber salido bien a SBO. Uh, sí, no, eh, inclusive no calenté muy bien para este combate. Entré un poco frío, pero gracias a Dios logré el triunfo. First, I want to thank God, I want to thank HBO. I came a little slow uh, because I didn't warm up, but everything went fine. Did you know or quickly see that you were just too strong for him? ¿Sabías tú o, o rápido eh, supiste que tú eras muy fuerte para él? Bueno, sí. En el primer, en el primer round uh, logré, logré conectar unos golpes porque yo sentí que, que lo conecté bien y que empezó a aflojar. Oh, yeah. En el primer round, I hit him some hard shots and he, I knew he was going to be weakening. Okay, this fight will not mean a lot to most people in boxing because he would be considered an inferior opponent. What top opponents would you like to fight as a welterweight? Esta pelea eh, no es muy significante porque el, el contrincante no era tan bueno. Pero ¿cuáles de los de los eh, oponentes buenos quieres tú pelear? Bueno, sabíamos que él iba invicto, verdad? Claro, Lolo se miró la diferencia. Es por eso que yo estoy pidiendo a los grandes campeones como mi amigo Oscar de la Hoya que me dé una chance, Chuberchen Molly, Fernando Barras. Quiero mm. con los grandes. Uh, it, he was undefeated, but I knew right away that uh, he wasn't the top opponent. But well, that's why I've been clamoring. I've been hollering for the top opponent. Sugar Shea Mosley, Oscar De La Hoya, whoever. They are all in weight classes above you. Who is a welterweight do you want to fight? Pero eso que tú estás llamando, Oscar De La Hoya y Mosley, ellos están en el peso superior al tuyo. Pero en el peso tuyo de los welters, ¿con quién quieres pelear? Bueno, claro que sí. Ya ahorita... Parece que no hay unificación. Necesito hablar con mi promotor Bob Aaron para que negocie las peleas grandes. Eh, yo, yo estoy dispuesto a subir a las 154 libras. Me siento muy fuerte en ese peso. Yeah. I know there's no unification bout in the 47 pounds for now. I need to talk to Bob Aaron, my promoter, to uh, get me those big fights. I'll fight anybody at any weight. Thank you very much, Antonio. Congratulations again. Jim?